your comments too. All right, guys, so let's dive in. So what are your kidneys? Kidneys are one of your big filtration units of the body. It's made up of different functional units called a glomeruli. And essentially, you're going to have a reabsorption of electrolytes and minerals, even some amino acids. Uh, and the biggest stressor on the kidneys, right? The biggest, high blood sugar, right? Most kidney transplants, almost 80% of all kidney transplants go to diabetics. There's a reason why, because high blood sugar, but not just blood sugar, high insulin is very damaging to the glomeruli. And once you're in kidney failure, then there's an idea that, okay, protein may be a little bit hard on your kidneys, but people confuse that. They think protein too much can actually cause kidney damage. Not so, au contraire. It's the kidney that's already damaged, then it's more susceptible to dealing with protein. But protein isn't this amino acid with barbed wire around it damaging the kidneys, but insulin. Insulin is the big problem. So you take in sugar, right? So typically you take in either table sugar, sucrose, which is glucose and fructose half and half, or you take in high fructose corn syrup, which is 55, 45 fructose to regular uh, glucose. And again, there's problems with high fructose, right? It's a little bit more damaging, a little bit more glycating. It doesn't signal leptin. So you tend to overeat high fructose corn syrup than like, let's say fructose and berries, right? Two totally different things. And then you have glucose from like starch, starchy sources, things, white potatoes, sweet potatoes. But in general, too much, your body makes insulin to bring it into the cell too much. When well, you're insulin resistant, how do you know? Get a blood sugar meter. Fasting should be below 100, one hour back below 120 hour two and hour three back below 100. If you're above that, you're probably starting to get insulin resistance. That's my best way to assess that. And a fasting insulin below seven, below 10, below seven is like, is good. Above 10 is a sign that you're starting to become insulin resistant. So just be, be mindful of that. So blood sugar is the biggest. It's going to be the biggest one. And I just gave you two ways to test it. So look at your fasting insulin on a blood test and look at your um, functional glucose tolerance on that blood sugar meter right there. Again, I'll put a link down below for the meter where you can get that. Also, you can see your how your kidney functions, right? You can go look on a metabolic panel, which is part of a typical blood test. You get your CBC, which looks at your red blood cells, and you have your metabolic panel, which looks at liver enzymes that will also look at creatinine. Creatinine is a pretty good win, uh, window to muscle breakdown. If it's too high, there could be kidney stress. Um, bun, blood, urea, nitrogen. There's another protein breakdown marker. Also, a glomular filtration rate. You want that well above 60 right? So those are, those are your big kidney markers out of the gates. 